Storytelling has an incredibly valuable role in our lives. It, it basically makes us who we are and it makes life interesting. It develops culture. And I think as we move into the future, which is clearly going to be uh, dominated by technology, it's important that we bring culture along with us. I think we live at a really exciting time. I mean, right now we have computational power and storage, uh, which is really enabling radical new ways of communicating. The way I think of the future of interactive storytelling is basically creators crafting mini brains. They're these little systems that we're able to create. They're autonomous storytellers. It's a totally different thing from like a book or a film because it creates this dialogue, this interaction where you're able to poke and prod and it's able to craft a story specifically for you. I mean, with collaborative artworks or stories or whatever you want to call them, there's some amazing new opportunities where you can basically set up some constraints and some parameters, but then you can allow people to give a piece of themselves. So an example is the Johnny Cash project, where we basically got a bunch of archival footage and cut together a music video for Johnny Cash. But ultimately, nobody saw that music video. Instead, people drew their own portraits, their own tributes to Johnny Cash. And from those portraits, you could actually watch the video take place frame by frame as you watch them play through. So in a way, there's some framework, there's some constraints, uh, and you you can actually see the, the higher level story, but there's also a juxtaposition of all these individuals that participated, and you can actually see the individuality shining through in the project. There's tons of things you can see with the Johnny Cash Project. You can actually slice and dice the Johnny Cash Project amongst a number of criteria. You can say, I want to see the, the highest rated frames, I want to see the most abstract frames, I want to see the pointillist frames, and you can actually use the data to say, you know, what do, what do people from this region think? What do people from this region, what did they put into the project? Um, and through that, it kind of is no longer a single output of a project. It's a dynamic, ever-changing database where you can, uh, you can really kind of draw different conclusions and investigate different perspectives on the same story. Ultimately, I think the power of collaborative creation is, is really intriguing, and it's something that we're only just tapping the iceberg. I think you, we, when they all pile together, we have the ability to create something much bigger than the sum of the parts. So the next project that I worked on was also a collaboration with Chris Milk. Uh, it was called The Wilderness Downtown, and it's basically a music video for Arcade Fire that draws upon this massive corpus of images in Google Maps and Google Street View and makes a music video that takes place where you grew up and then pulls in this rich data to kind of build off of your own nostalgia and your own memories to create this customized experience specifically for you. Largely the goal with The Wilderness Downtown was really just to push the browser as far as we could. You know, what are, what are the capabilities? How do we break away from this 4x3 or 169 box and play out all of the screen? I think what, what was happening with this project was we had this amazing data set which would allow us to you know, really hone and tailor spe to specific individuals and drive home an amazing emotional resonance. We got many emails of people saying, I was brought to tears. You know, I, I was actually put back in the place where I grew up and it just arose all kinds of amazing uh, memories and emotions that I haven't felt in a very long time. Following Wilderness Downtown, Chrome introduced this new technology called WebGL, which is basically like cramming a PlayStation or Xbox directly in your web browser. It gives you access to hardware-accelerated graphics and it basically enables you to create real-time rendered on-the-fly graphics. So we want to see kind of what can we do with this? How, how could we create an experience that's changing for each individual person and really feels like an exploration into a new world. Three Dreams of Black is a music video that goes to this amazing collaboration between Danger Mouse, Daniel Lupi, Jack White, and Nora Jones. We put together these worlds that you can actually move through and watch them get rendered with particle effects and all kinds of crazy animations of animals. And, uh, and eventually you enter this landscape that is inhabited by all these strange creations created from people across the planet. All of those learnings kind of culminated in the latest project, which is the Exquisite Forest, which uh, was a collaboration with the Tate Modern in London. One of the things we noticed was with the Johnny Cash project, people were really interested in guiding the, the trajectory of the story. I think it was clear that they wanted to do more than, than just create a single frame. So we, we thought, well, what would happen if we allowed them to guide the actual trajectory of the storyline? What, uh, what would happen if we empowered them to create their own stories uh, and allow people to branch the stories in different directions? What we landed on was basically creating these seeds, these uh, kind of ideas for what a tree could be. 
um, and a number of Tate artists uh, created some seedlings that then people can branch off of. They can create their own little animations that build off of other animations and end up creating these trees of totally different narrative paths. What we're ending up with is this amazing collection of radically different stories. Some of them are really kind of traditional narratives that take a character down a pathway, and some of them are highly abstract, kind of just bombardments of color and, uh, and noise. In a way, with the global communications, it's almost like people across the planet are dreaming together. There's this imagination that's coming about by people interacting with one another and creating this totally different thought space. There's, there's certainly uh, a very important role for stories uh, in culture and in terms of enriching our lives. I think, uh, I, I think it's really actually what makes life worth living is, is having rich stories uh, and living our lives through them. I think actually our lives are really just a series of stories that we're, we're telling ourselves.